everyone. So in the last two videos, we looked at creating your virtual lab and some of the considerations that you'd make at that point. But what we also did was look at the application group and then how do we, and today's video is gonna be, how do we put those together and how do we start leveraging or using those together? So that comes in the way of a, a sure backup job. Again, really simple, click your sure backup job at the top. So once you've created that application group in the virtual lab, this ribbon item, at least the virtual lab, the uh, the ribbon item, the sure backup option becomes visible within your home homepage of your Veeam backup replication. So if we take this one, for example, we jump in here. Again, they all look very similar from a, from a Veeam point of view. Give it a name, give it a description. Now we need to choose that virtual lab that we already created. You can see here that I've got several and you can and maybe you've got virtual labs in different locations for different testing purposes, different sandbox environments, all of that good stuff. But today we're gonna to use that one. It gives you a summary of what that looks like, what, what the host it's gonna be residing on, what the capacity of that data store is, et cetera, et cetera. Then we choose our application group. Again, we could choose any of those. It could be this one. It could be the one that we just created. And it, gives you a, again a summary of well it's going to test against the web server it's going to it's going to be running that from the backup source whereas it could be a, a replica or it could be a um, storage snapshot and it tells me that the last good backup was okay and less than a day ago now this this tick box down here is and we're going to get back to this this is around if you wanted to keep this running so what we're doing now is we're looking at sure backup which is going to verify that the backup is in a good state it's going to make sure it's going to tell me that this centos box is going to be powered up it's going to be powered on spun up and then it's going to be accessed by a heartbeat ping and then also we're going to run some specific port 80 type tasks against that to confirm that the web server service that we expect to be there is there before it then automates that whole breaking down of that so and then you get a report to say everything is is good so for this instance we're not going to tick that now if we had additional backup jobs that we'd also want to link to this we could add those in in here then this backup or the settings so we've got a few different options here. One is backup file integrity check to ensure that the whole um, virtual disk is, is there and there is no data corruption. We also have the malware scan. So if you've heard us talk about sure backup, uh, sure re secure restore, sorry, then this is where you would, um, you can enable that. So it's again, an automated way of making sure that there is no malicious threats within your backups before they get offloaded potentially off into different environments, off-site locations. And then you've got your notifications. And then you've got your um, schedule. So generally speaking, I would say either do this on a weekly basis, daily basis, monthly basis, but also you could do it straight after the backup job is completed. So if you just had a web server backup job, then you could go in here, you could click this and you could go after this job and you could specifically make it run after that that um, that job so that every night or every backup um, cycle that you know that that backup has been tested, the VM's been tested, it's spun up, we've tested against the operating system because we're gonna be looking for that ping so the network has to be there and we're gonna be looking inside at the application if you've if it's applicable. But you're gonna get all of those three and, then you, and potentially malware threats as well and then you're gonna get a nice report when you arrive in the morning to, to see what that looks like. So that's that. If we then quickly, this is what the report would look like, hopefully with less red, but you're gonna see that the session details, you're gonna see what, what happened. Obviously this is a lab environment, but you might have a three tier, a bigger pool of machines that you want to test against. You can see how long it takes. It doesn't take very long at all. This is with limited resources within our lab. And ultimately, you get this same report emailed to you if you configure that to be the case. Any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Thank you very much.